It is time for your favorite radio Chatting from the Word with your host, your brother, Oscar York, the voice on the Spreaker platform where we are chatting about the Word from the Word and putting that all important snap. Crackle and pop in your Christian world. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that's within me. Bless his holy name, bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget not all his benefit. My, my friend, the Lord has blessed us, benefited us with another wonderful, wonderful day. A day that was not even promised to us on yesterday. But the Lord loved us so much, he allowed us a blessing, a benefit of waking up this morning, watching over us from last evening. And waking us up this morning to another wonderful, wonderful day. Amen. Praise, praise him. Praise, praise the Lord. Just another benefit, my friend that the Lord has given us on this time side of life. We are on the top floor and not the soul on top of us. And we that are on this side of heaven. Praise, praise the Lord. Do you have your ears on, my friend? Are you ready? Are you ready to hear another episode from us here? I'm chatting from the Word. We hope that you are ready and have your ears on and ready to do what? Ready to praise the Lord. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. Because, my friend, praising the Lord, praising the Lord is what we do here on Turning from the Word. Amen. And amen. First of all, I want to welcome all of our new listeners. If this is your first time listening in, you are our new listener and we want to welcome you to the program. We want to thank you for listening in to us this morning. And we want you to know you're not just our welcome guest, but you are our honored guest. And we applaud you this morning. Yes, we do. Thanking you, thanking you, thanking you for listening and having your ears on. <laughs> amen and uh, a amen. All right. And you know, if you love what you're listening to here, I want to tell you from the word today. Share it with your friends on Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram. Wherever you are on the internet, share, share, and share. My friend, have you turned in your contributions? Have you? Well, we hope that you do it today. Send in your contributions because we need your financial assistance to keep this fine program going. As you may know, and if you have lived long enough, you know everything close nowadays. And if you uh, 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 you are pleased with what we're doing here on Chatting from the Word. And you know the world needs to hear the beautiful name of Jesus Christ. Help us out here. Send your contributions. And if you want to send them in, we do have a place where you can send them in to. We have, uh, uh, where you can send, we are on the PayPal. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> We're on PayPal. You can go to PayPal, well, PayPal.com and put in my email address, which is lowercase, Oscar York, 3443 at 
gmail.com or you can go to jail and do the same. Put in my email address, which is a little case, Oscar York, 3443 at uh, gmail.com and get those contributions in. We need help, financial help, in bringing this program to the airways. Amen. And a amen. Where am I, you all? Where am I? I am here on chatting from the word, and I am your host, brother Oscar York No Morse, on the free platform where we are chatting about the word from the word and putting that all important snap, crackle, and pop. In your Christian world. And we are, we are so, so glad to do it. And we are. We are so glad to uh, bring you this program and put that all the important snap, cracker, and pop in your uh, Christian world this morning. Amen and uh, a amen. Now most of you, and I've said it every day on the air, know where we are broadcasting from, correct? Well, we are broadcasting from that beautiful, wonderful state of Ohio. Yes, we are. Ohio, Ohio, Ohio. <laughs> And Ohioans, I'm glad that a lot of you are listening, but share this program. Tell other Ohioans about us here at Chatting from the Word. And of course, Michigan. Michigan, my hat's off to you, Michigan. Your numbers are growing, especially in Detroit. And y'all just love us in Detroit, and I thank you. I thank you for your love, Detroit, for getting them numbers up there. And your numbers are uh, it's up there, it's up there, it's up there, and Brother Oscar just want to thank you, I love you too, and we just want to applaud you this morning, thanking you for that. And Texas, Texas, you still hanging in there, your numbers are dropping home people, <laughs> home state, come on now. This is your home guy here coming across to you on Chatting from the Word. But we do appreciate you too as well, Texan. And Illinois, California, Tennessee, and Arizona, we thank you as well. And then we are heard over all the other countries as well. And we want to thank the other countries for listening to us here on Chatting from the Word. Thank you. Amen and amen. Now, my friend, time has arrived. Yes, it has for us to do a snapshot of the program today. Amen. Snap, snapshot. And this is our snapshot. And with our snapshot, you know what we're doing. We're uh, sharing with you what you can expect on the program today. We are sharing with you uh, what you can expect on the program today. Of course, you heard an introductory song, which was God's Grace and Mercy, sung by Wayne Williams. And then our prayer time. Our prayer time will be up soon, and you're going to hear Radiant's Acapella singing Sweet Hour of Prayer. And our scripture text for this morning, if you 
want to read along with us would be 1 John 5, 14, and 15. That is 1 John 5, 14, and 15. And the song that we have selected for your uplifting and putting all that crackle and snap in your walk today and to encourage you to keep on living for him will be raising harmony, build your kingdom. And then the message, the message, of course, this is a, a continuation of marriage. So many of our marriages are crumbling. You look at the divorce rates, it's getting high and high and high. People just don't believe in making marriage a commitment as it should be. So we're going to be talking about our marriage, the marriage. And our subtopic is get married, stay married, stay together. Get married, stay married, stay together. And we say, we make this statement, we said marriage is a lifetime commitment of love, devotion, and staying together. When a couple separate, it is like cutting a part of yourself off. The one become two again, and with no reconciliation, the marriage just fade away. So my friend, if you want to hear this, our chat today, keep your ears on so that you can hear it. It's a good chat, and we hope that we have uh, we are helping someone that out there that marriage is on the rocks of crumbling. We hope that we're helping you to keep your marriage solid and together. And my friend, that was your snapshot of the program today. Amen and a. Amen. Hold it, my friend, hold it. Do you hear it? Choo, choo, here comes the train into the station. It's coming, y'all. I'm getting excited to get on this train because you know who's our conductor, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. He is going to take us on this hour ride. Are you ready to get on this gospel train this morning? Well, my friend, line up, line up, line up, and have your ticket out. Are you ready? Are you ready? Get on board. Get on board. Get on board. Two, two, all is on board. Bye. 
Amen and amen. This is our prayer time, and if you have a prayer request that you want us to pray for here on Chatting from the Word, you can send it to my email address, which is lowercase, oscaryork3443 at uh, gmail.com, or lowercase chatting from the word at uh, gmail.com, or you can put it on any page that you're listening to the program through. And if you have a prayer request that you want to keep confidential, that is fine. Here on Telling from the Word, we do respect your confidentiality here. Just simply say, Brother Oscar, pray for me and call my name, and I'd be so delighted to do just that. Again, if you have a prayer request that you want us to pray for here on Chatting from the Word, you can use those avenues to get your request to us. Amen and amen. And as always, keep in your prayers those that we've been uh, requesting prayer for, those that have lost loved ones, those that are going through some difficult times at this time, those that are having marital problems, and those that are trying to make a difference in the world when it comes to the gospel of Jesus Christ. And of course, keep your brother, your brother Oscar York the voice in your prayers as well. Pray for me as I pray for you. My friend, if you have a copy of God's Word and you would love to follow us in our scripture text reading for prayer time, it will be 1 John 5, 14, and 15. And that is 1 John 5, 14, and 15. The Apostle Love, he penned these words. And this is the confidence that we have in him that if we ask anything according to his will, he heareth us. And if we know that he hears us, whatsoever we ask, we know that we have the petitions that we desire him. Amen and uh, amen. Are you ready, my friend? Are you ready to approach the throne of grace this morning in the humblest, submissive way so that we may talk with the Father this morning? Are you ready? Sweet Our Father, we join in heaven. Father, we recognize that you are so gracious. Father, we recognize that you are merciful. And Father, we recognize your love. Oh, Father, we come to you at this point with thanksgiving in our hearts, our minds, and souls. Father, thank you, you Father, for watching over us on last evening as we slept in slumber. Thanking you, Father, for waking us up this morning to a day that numbers never witnessed before. Giving all of us on this side of heaven a second chance, another chance to make it right with you, another chance, another chance to praise you, another chance to glorify you. Father, we thank you for that so much. And Father, we thank you for allowing your only begotten Son, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, to come down in this cruel world to show us how to live. To show us how to love and to show us how to connect with you. And Father, we thank you for allowing him down the cross. He took on the cross, becoming sin and new no sin. So our sins may be washed away in his blood. 
Oh, Father, we thank you, thank you so much, so much for that. And Father, we come praying for the condition of the world at this time. Oh, Father, we recognize that the world stands far distant from you. But Father, what we request, Father, what we request, Father, that you allow us as Christians to shine our light in hope that someone may see our light and come to Jesus Christ. Oh, Father, we pray for those who have contracted this coronavirus. Father, we pray that you be with them, go with them, heal their bodies, touch their bodies, so they may rise from their very sickness and give you glory, praise, and honor. Oh, Father, we pray for those who have lost loved ones at this time. Father, we pray that you keep them, help them through uh, their, their mourning. Comfort them as they are missing that loved one. And follow those who are losing loved ones at the hands of Jesus as well. Father, comfort them too. And Father, we pray for priests, offers your hand to take a life. Father, we pray that it was justified and if death is right, Father, be with their mind, body, and soul. Oh, Father, we pray for all of our political leaders. Build me right and Father, we pray that they never make lost feelings of worshiping you. But make love of all good in peace and in harmony. Oh, Father, 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 we come praying for the church again. Father, we pray that you allow the church to be a night house, be a to the show of Jesus Christ. Oh, Father, we come praying for all of our listeners at this time. Father, we pray that you be with each and every one that's listening. Help them through their struggles. Help them through their shortcomings. Help them through their doubts. Help them do their fears, Father. Cast their doubts and fears and deeper for the sea where they may not be surface anymore. Oh, Father, come pray for our program today, chanting on the word. Father, help us with the message. Get married, stay married, and stay together. Help us that we may say something to help someone that trouble, that having trouble in their marriages. Father, Father, we pray that to be with those who've been praying for quite some time, those that lost loved ones, those that are going through some changes, and those that are trying to make a difference in the world and come to the gospel of Jesus Christ. And Father, who always keep us encouraged and not discouraged. In Jesus, in Jesus, blessed name, do we pray. Amen and amen. As always, we thank you for reading our scripture text along with us for praying along with us. And we hope that we pray for something that is on your mind. All right, we'll be right back with the second half after these messages. We are back, we're back, and welcome to the second half. Are you ready to go around? <laughs> Are you ready for the second half? Do you still have your ears on? And as you do, we want to welcome you. I hope you're ready. I hope you're ready to go another round with Brother Oscar praising the Lord. Are you ready? Well, we welcome you to the second half. We're so glad that you still have your ears on. But we want to ask you about your contribution. If you can, send in your contribution soon because, like I said, uh, it takes money to, to run the program like we are trying to run it and to get it out there to listening ears who need to hear the gospel of Jesus Christ. So if you think it's a worthwhile venture, the world know, gets to know Jesus Christ, help us out financially here because we do need help financially to bring this program on. So. Come on now with your contributions. And, of course, you can send your contributions to our PayPal account, paypal.com, and put in my email address, which is lowercase, oscaryork3443 at gmail.com. And also, you can go to Zill and do the same. Put in my email address, which is lowercase, oscaryork3443 at gmail.com. Amen and amen. My friend, do you like us? Do you? I know you do. Well, on the Spreaker platform, where we're coming on live at this time, it is a place where you can put your likes. But if you love us, if you love us, 
on our frequent platform. It should be a place where you can put your forward. If you want to be a follower of us on this frequent platform, do that today. Put in the fact that you want to be one of our followers on our Shrieker platform. And then we're coming live on YouTube. We're live on YouTube at this time. And if you love us on YouTube, give us a thumbs up. But if you really love us on YouTube, subscribe to us on our YouTube station and hit the notification bell so every time we're on, they will send you a notification that we are on. And of course, we are tweeting, tweeting on Twitter. We are live on Twitter at this time. If you like us on Twitter, let us know that you listen to us through our Twitter station. Then we also tumbling, tumbling on Tumblr. If you love us on Tumblr, let us know that as well. Of course, at this time, our Facebook page is not up, live up yet, but we are sharing it on our Facebook page. And you all that we uh, are sharing it with, share it with your other Facebook partners and let them know about chatting uh, from the word. But don't, let, don't wait until I share it with you. Because we're on, on many of your internet networks that you can go to. Now, my uh, web page is on onpodium.com. You can hear it through my web page on onpodium.com. Just put in my email address and that should lead you to my web page. And then we're on Audrey. Music Download, VSC, Lay, Joseph Arm, Chrome Wellview, Bullhorn, Alexa Media Player, PaulPlayer.net, Chrome iTunes, Visionup.com, Parchasia, Deezer, Apple Podcasts, iHeartRadio, Tumblr, Blogger, Internet Explorer, Generic Android App, Bing.com, Spotify, Google Podcasts, Castbox, Podcast Addicts, Freaker, Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, Pinterest, Instagram, and YouTube. And if you desire a direct link, visit your Google Play or App Store and download Shrieker Podcast app. And once you have it downloaded, look us up, chatting from the word. And once you find us, put us in your favor so that when we are on, you will not miss not one episode. Amen. And a amen. Where am I, you all? Where am I? I am here, all chatting from the Word. And I am your host, Brother Oscar, your love voice, on the free platform, where we are chatting about the Word from the Word and putting the all-important snap, crackle, and pop in your Christian world. Yes, we are, and we are so thankful, and we are so grateful to do it. Amen and amen. And now time has arrived for us to play our only selection for today. And that selection will be Raging Harmony, Build Your Kingdom. I love that song because it reminds me me, and I hope you remind you, that we should be people that is telling others about Jesus Christ. We should be people that bring others into God's kingdom. You understand what I was say? So here they are. Raging Harmony, build your kingdom.
Amen, amen. We love that. That was raised in harmony. Build your kingdom. And the way we can build a kingdom, which is our Savior Jesus Christ, body, the church, is to live that life before people. And when they ask you the question why you are so different, that's a chance to let them know about the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Good job, Regine Harmon. It is very well that selection. Build your kingdom. All right, all right. We'll be right back with the chat after these messages. All right, all right. It's that time for us to chat with you today. Is it all right? Is it all right if Brother Oscar chat with you? Are you comfortable? Get comfortable. If you're in the gym working out, that's fine. You can still listen to the chat. If you're in your car driving, that's fine. Save it up. If you, at your destination, save it. Save your place where you can hear the chat because here on Chatting from the Word, we just don't preach or teach, but what we do is chat. We don't want to talk over you or below you, but we want to talk with you and reason with you. You know, with the world going through this pandemic, and, and this pandemic has affected so many people. I was just listening on the uh, on the news yesterday, how many businesses are, are having, still having a hard time to come back, especially the eatery. And we know when, when you have a financial situation, sometimes it hurts the home, doesn't it? When, when your pocketbook is hurting, sometimes home is hurting. And if you know what Brother Oscar is talking about, you know... That's the reason why. I believe that God wants our marriages to stick and to stay together. Especially when our back is to the wall and we just need to hear those comforting words from our spouse. Hang in there, dear. Hang in there, baby. Hang in there, honey. It's going to get better. I'm with you all the way. Don't worry about it. I'm not going nowhere. Of course, this pandemic, though this pandemic, honey, I took you to places that we've never thought this marriage would go, has left us in a financial ruin. Don't worry about it. I'm going to stick with you. I'm going to stay with you. I'm going to be with you. You don't have to worry about being by yourself. Because I'm right here with you. And that's what marriage is about, my friend. God said in the beginning, it's not good for a man to be alone. Now, he didn't say it's not good for a man to be lonely. Because being alone and lonely is two different things. But what God said, it's not good for his man to be alone. And it's not. It's not good for anyone to be alone, male or female. Because only there's, you know, it, it takes its toll, sure. Uh, especially if you're alone for hours at a time, months at a time. Don't have no one to say good morning to. Don't have no one to, you know, to hold tight. Don't have no one to say how cute you are, how handsome you are. Don't have no one to, to listen to you. It gets hard. A lonely life is a hard life to live. And God himself said, listen to God. Because I believe that's the majority of our problem. We don't want to listen to God today. 
We want to listen to every other voice out there. But we don't want to listen to God. God said it's not good for a man to be by himself. And that's the moment God is talking about. God said it's not good for a man to be by himself. Let me say that again. <laughs> it is not good for a man to be by himself. And we're coming from Matthew. If you have a copy of God's word, turn with me to the gospel of Matthew. And of course, our main, our main uh, scripture, of course, is 1 Corinthians. We are in the letters that Apostle Paul wrote to the Corinthian church. And we are in the first letter that Apostle Paul wrote to the Corinthian church. And we are in chapter 7, uh, verses 8 to 17. And Paul led us to what Jesus said. And right now, we want to go to Matthew 19 because Jesus is saying something very important to us when it comes to our, our marriage. He really is. And like I said, a lot of us, we, we read it. We have read it. And a lot of us, excuse me, and a lot of us have seen it in here. And a lot of us have interpreted our own way. But let's see what Christ's word really is saying. And we, we went over this yesterday. If you weren't with us yesterday, you, you missed a treat. But here, Jesus says, And I say unto you, Whosoever shall put away his wife, now he's talking about not the writing of divorce because we got two things here in, in verse uh, 7. He talked about writing of divorce and to put her away. Although it is a compound, a compound sentence, but a writing of divorce and putting her or putting someone away is two different things. A writing of divorce is, is you writing, having a bill of something that was granted by the courts and you give it to somebody. But putting away is a leaving or a separation. You understand know what, what Jesus is saying here? A lot of us don't because we would, that's why it's so confusing today. If we understood, marriage wouldn't be that, that difficult. Because if we understood the message of God's and not man to be alone, and God wants man to, 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 to be married and to be with his spouse, we wouldn't have a problem with this. But we do, don't we? Even in, in homes, to be surprised. Well, one spouse may understand the message of marriage, and the other one don't. And that do occur in our homes. But here, Jesus says it's not good to separate. And if one separate and don't want to be reconciled, and don't want to be reconciled back to their spouse, don't want to be reconciled back to his mate, or her, like, and marry another, and he's already she's already married. You committing a donkey because you already married. You just separated, and this is what Jesus is saying. Now, the point that we want to hit today is the next statement that that uh, the Bible says here in Matthew, and that's verse ten. The Bible said his disciples said unto him, If the case of a man be so with his wife, is it not good to marry? If this be the case, Jesus, if, if this be the case that 
if I'm separated from my wife and and I can't do anything else, uh, have another wife, but we're separated. Oh man, that's all. That's all. Yes, he. That's all, because Jesus says, I'm going to see why I, 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 they're saying this for, because Jesus said these words. He said, but he said to them, all men cannot receive this thing, save they to whom it is given, except to who is given. All men can accept it. All men can't be lonely. All women can't be lonely. And it's not good for a man or a woman to be alone. And this is the message that God has about our marriages. Don't separate. It's good to get married. It's good to stay married. But don't separate. Don't leave the husband by himself. Husband, don't leave your wife by herself. Stay together. God meant for marriages to stay together. Because God knows, God knows, and, and we, we're going to talk to you this time. We get married for a reason. And, and Paul says, I mean, listen to Paul. Paul said, you can't if you, if you can't stop your falling king, get mad. Get mad. Paul's solution was to get mad. And if you married because you are, you got the urge that you need a woman in a sexual way, have your own woman. Women have your own husband. Don't go out and, and connect yourself with anybody and everybody else. But when you separate, then what? When you separate, then what? Here all this time, from 10, 15, 20, 30 years, you've been with this woman, and you've been with this man, and all of a sudden you separate? Do those urges go away? Do those lonely nights? What about those lonely nights? That you're in bed by yourself and your spouse not beside you. What about that? What about the one who does the cooking and gets up to do the cooking and bring you breakfast to bed and say good morning? What about the time that y'all sitting there and having a TV date and watching TV and holding hands? Oh, my friend, those are the times. That you're going to miss when you are separated. And we don't think about those times until we are separated. We said we miss her or we miss him. And then a lot of us, we, we turn to sin. A lot of us, when they get a girlfriend, they get a boyfriend. But we're still married because we've not, we haven't got it in writing. A divorce. We still we're just separated. You putting her away, a him away. What, what you doing? You just lay, you just leave. The best thing we can do is come back together as in marriage to be reconciled. And many of us may say our marriage can be is what they call unreconcilable. Unreconcilable differences. And if that is the case, and if that is the case, what you need to do, first of all, pray on it. Talk to God about it. And get it legalized. Talk to God about it and get it legalized. And for y'all who think it's wrong to get a legal divorce, God is a forgiving God. But I don't think it's wrong because here Paul is talking about separating. Don't separate. The sin is separating and not the writing of divorcement. 
Because uh, what was the question that the Pharisees asked? They said, now, because they say Moses allowed us to put her away. And Jesus said, because of the hardness of your hearts, or oh, they say for any reason. And then Jesus, because of the hardness of your hearts, Moses allowed you to give your wife a bill of divorce meant for any reason. So that was the question for any reason. And, 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 and Jesus said, don't even separate. And if you separate, let me for fornication. If you separate, let me for fornication. And in that separation, that, that gives you some time to think about the marriage. And of course, one has to be admitted. I get caught in the act. And even at that point, you know what I believe? I believe forgiveness. I believe when one spouse is, has committed adultery, fornication, the other one should be, if he's a, or she was a Christian, be a forgiving person, say, baby, I accept you back. Let's work on it. Let's get help. Let's work on it. Let's not split. Let's not separate. Let's not divide. Let, me, let us not cut each other off, but get some help for our marital problems. Amen. That's the message for today. And tomorrow, of course, we will be doing is music time once again. And we hope that you listen to us tomorrow. And on Thursday, of course, we're going back to 1 Corinthians 7 chapter. So we hope that you join us. We hope that we send something in the message that calls you to think about your marriage. Because here on Channel from the Word, we try to help you. And as always, as you feel like the Oscars all key to what he just said, hey, email me, let me know. And if you got some Bible to prove me different, that is fine. But we're going to get on out of here. And we'll be right back with the closing after these messages. <laughs> Amen, amen. We are back, we are back, and we are so glad to be back with you, but we need to get on out of here. We enjoy spending this time with you, chatting with you, talking about marriages, and we hope that we said something to help your marriage if you're having some problems, all right? So stick together, stay together, get married. Stay together, get married, stay married, and stay together. And we appreciate you all that listen to us live and listen to us live. Thank you. Thank you for listening to us live. And for you all who did not listen to us live, of course, we're on all your internet networks that we call in mid-show. And you can go to these networks and pull us up and listen to the show. Just say, tell it from the word hosted by Oscar. Or you can Google it. Google Chatting from the Word, hosted by Oscar, and that should take you to our shows. And, of course, um, what else I want to say? <laughs> I guess that's it. We enjoy bringing you this program today, and we hope that we have put that snap, crackle, and pop in your Christian walk today. We pray with me, please, our Father, which are in heaven, long be thy name, thy kingdom is here, thy will is in thy Father, we thank you for this time we had to spend with all of our listeners, Father, we pray that you be with each and every one of them, help them to have a good and prosperous day today. In Jesus' name do we pray, amen and amen. And as always, love somebody, love everybody, bye-bye. And may God bless your grace and